Welcome to our lecture online. So let's do another example to illustrate the general or fundamental counting rules. Again, we're going to deal with a license plate, six characters. The first three characters are going to be alphabetical characters. The last three are going to be numerical characters. Again, there's the six trials. We know that the total number of outcomes is simply going to be the product of the outcomes of each of the trials. But now we have some restrictions. Notice the restrictions are that we cannot use repeating letters. If the letter is used once, you cannot use it again. And we're not going to use the numbers 0 and 1 because they look too much like an O and an I. So to, to decrease confusion, we're going to place some restrictions on there. All right, so that means that the outcomes for each is going to be as follows. So on the outcome of the first trial, since no letters have been picked yet, all 26 are still ready to be picked. So we have an outcome of 26 for the first trial. But then regardless of which letter we pick on the first character, that letter can no longer be used. So now we only have a choice of 25 letters for the second pick. So that will be the total number of outcomes for the second trial. And then since now we have picked two different letters, for the third letter we can only have 24 remaining we can pick from. So that's the total number of outcomes for that one. How about the, the numerical characters? Well, there's no restriction. We can use the same number more than once. However, we cannot use 0 and 1. That means we can only pick numbers from 2 to 9. That means there's only 8 out outcomes for the numbers, which means for trial number 4, there's 8 outcomes. Trial number 5, there's 8. And trial number 6, there are 8 outcomes. So that is then the, these, these are then the 6 outcomes of the 6 trials, the 6 different characters that are chosen. And let's see how many license plates we can have now. And again, is that, are those permutations or are those combinations? Well, it turns out permutations because the order does matter. Now, of course, in this case, we can use a one. So let's go ahead and change it to, hey, let's put it a four. There we go. Now we hold with the rules that we're supposed to hold to. All right, let's uh, see what we got. 26 times 25 times 24 times 8 cubed. And now we're down to, is that right? Hmm, I'm going to do it again just in case. All right, seems like a small number compared to the last one, but it could be right. Well, we'll find out. So 26 times 25 times 24 times 8 times 8 times 8 equals, ah, that seems more like it. Okay, so now we have a total number of 7 million 987, 987,200. Total number of outcomes has dropped from 17.5 million to just slightly less than 8 million outcomes because we have placed some restrictions on it. But again, these are the total number of permutations we can have with the restrictions. And again, we use a general counting rule, not that fancy equation we saw in the beginning of the uh, series. So you can see that either equation could be used, but in this case, we're going to use that equation because that makes it easy to find the total number of outcomes. And that is how it's done. Let's see if it's correct. 7, 9, 8, 7, 200. That's correct. All right. Two out of two. <laughs>